the legal advice is to be filed the legal advice is to be found at page 11 of the governor's band bundle of documents yes. volume 1b honorable members now in that legal advice legal 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 opinion bona munene page 11 of the governor's response volume 1b marked as km5 that legal advice bona munene do we have someone signing off as who is the author of that document at the last page page 12 it indicates legal advisor. Do you have it reflecting the name? No, it does not reflect the name. It doesn't reflect the name of either the alleged legal advisor or your own legal or, or your own name, does it? It does not. Honorable Senators, I want to move with you to the affidavit of one Luz, of one Linda Gaki Kyome that was filed yesterday before the Senate, yesterday afternoon. I hope we all have that affidavit. It's a standalone affidavit that was filed yesterday afternoon by Lin Linda Raki Kiyome. Now, Mr. Munira, do you have that affidavit? No. And in that affidavit, there is an annexure. I don't have the affidavit. You can supply a copy. Okay. This, look at the last annexure that was applied by Linda, Linda Gaki Kiyome, the notice of intention to terminate your contract. Can you, do you have that copy, Mr. Munene? Yes, yes, I'm there. Can you read the second sentence paragraph that, that, that starts with the word, the reason for termination? The reason for termination is due to your perennial unavailability to offer legal advice as and whenever the governor requires you. The second sentence, the, 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 sen the sentence preceding the, before that, or after that? You have also decided your obligation as a legal advisor to the governor, and instead concentrated on your schedule as a council member of the LSK, and also in the running of your law firm, now, which Mr. you Mwane, are so proprietor. So this is an intention, notice of intention to terminate the contract of Linda Gaki Kiyome, correct? Yes. And the reasons for termination is perennial unavailability and desertion of work, correct? Correct. And what is the meaning of the word perennial? Is it not annually, perennially? Many times. Many several. times. When is the date of this letter? 26th March 2024. 26th? March 2024. Proceed to the sentence that begins with the word, when the governor. When the governor raised this concern over the same issue in December 2023, and in an attempt to amicably resolve it, you, intimidate, you, you intimated that due to the exigencies of your schedule, you contemplated resigning. So in December which year? 2023. That means that as of December 2023, the governor already had issues with her legal advisor, Juan Linda Gaki Kiyome, correct? It indicates so. Is that not the inference? That is what it infers. Now, I take you back to the internal memo, Mr. Sorry, sorry, before I take you back to the internal memo, I take you to the date of the internal memo. When is the date of the internal memo? 23rd February 2024. 23rd? February 2024. A date coming after the governor having issues with her legal advisor, correct? Correct. A date coming after the governor having identified that her legal advisor has perennially deserted work, correct? Not correct. Do you want me to take you back to the intention to terminate? Yes, which is coming on 26th March 2024. That is when the issue of perennial, perennial. that is coming. Yes, 26th March 2024. 2024. 
Thank you. Now, the paragraph that says when the governor raised this concern over the same issue, what issue was the governor raising in the month of December 2023 with her legal advisor, Mr. Munene? <clears throat> Is it not the issue of perennial availability and desertion of work? It talks about exigencies of the schedule and contemplate and yes, it is. is. Is it not the issue of perennial unavailability and desertion? Yes. As of December 2023? Yes. The governor had problems with her legal advisor for uh, being unavailable at work? Yes. Yet in, 20, in 23rd February 2024, the legal advisor is in a capacity to advise the governor. Is that correct? Yes, it's correct. That's correct? That's correct. Now, if we are to look at the veracity and the legality of that opinion, Mr. Munene, which you have admitted that you did ex uh, indeed give or issue, and as an advocate, what's the legality of that opinion in light of Section 58.5 of the Count Government Act? Can I take you there kindly? Yes, sure. Section 58.5 is to be found at our volume 3, the County Assembly Band of Volume 3. The County Assembly Band of Volume 3 at page, page 51. At page 51. Page 50 and page 51, section 58 is about composition of the county public service board. Mr. Munene, can you kindly read section 58.5 of the county government act? I am not there yet, so if you could be assistant with a copy. Kindly. Thank you. Page 51. Yes. Can you kindly read? The members of the bond may only be removed from office on grounds set out for the removal of members of a constitutional commission under Article 251 one of the Constitution and by a vote of not less than 75% of all members of the county assembly. That is the process of removing a member of the board, correct? Yes, but not an ex-official member of the board. Wasn't Ms. Miriti appointed to the board? She was an ex-official yes member no? of the board. Is no. she not a secretary? She's a secretary. Does this fly on the face? Sergeant at arms. Sergeant at arms, is everything okay? Mr. I hope my time was post, Honorable Speaker. Now, Mr. Munene, you, it's your evidence that the... Just hold on, Council. Sorry, Mr. Speaker.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Now, Mr. Munene, it is your evidence that the Secretary is an ex-official member. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Can you kindly look at page 50 of the same volume 3 band of the County Assembly, section 58.1 on the composition of the board? Are you there? Yes, I am there. What is the composition of the board? The County Public Service Board shall comprise a chairperson appointed in accordance with section 58A, at Fa least... C, specifically C, go to section 58, I'm subsection 1C. I'm on 58, at least three, but not more than five members mm -hmm. appointed in accordance with section 58A, a certified public secretary. A certified? Public secretary. So is a certified public secretary a member of the board? An ex officio member. But a member of the? An ex officio member. Where of the is board. the issue of ex officio on section 58.1c? Because. Uh, Constrain is... yourself to that section. Is a secretary a member of the board? Yes or no? Yes. Now, in respect of section 58.5, is the procedure depicted under section 58.5 the procedure for removal of the secretary?